Um, so I've been wanting to film a what I eat in a day for like a week now, but I've had fucking gastro, I think. Okay, so every day I start my morning with my Naked Harvest gorgeous greens. Um, the best flavor is definitely pineapple punch, closely followed by banana lolly. And then third, I would say mango, but I haven't tried the new mango formula, so I'm sure it's actually better than the one that I had. Anyways, so I have two scoops of the greens. And then I have one, like, half a teaspoon of collagen. I'm trying to get my um, hair a bit healthier because naturally my hair is this color. It's so dark and I literally bleach it so hardcore all the time because I want to be blonde and now it's starting to get a little bit thin so we're on the collagen train this one is pure collagen and it tastes like nothing so it's like really good to put in like coffee and greens and anything it just makes it super creamy then I have my vitamins these are from Vitable it's like a little um customized personalized little vitamin pack so I have that every day and then Hand mixer, if you don't have one of these, you should really get one. Mine is from Naked Harvest, but I think you can get them from like Kmart or anything, but they're so good because it gets rid of all the clumps, gets it all mixed up and so yeah. Cheers. Also, I get so many questions like, do you actually like the greens? Are they actually good? I eat like 25 serves of vegetables a day. I don't need to have my greens. I literally have it because it tastes good. So, if it tastes like shit, I wouldn't be drinking it. Basically. Ugh. So, I have my breakfast at around 7 a.m. every day. 6.30, 7-ish. So, I'm running a little bit late. I've had this breakfast for, I think, three years straight, and it has not changed. It's overnight oats, literally just oats. Um, protein and water. It's taken me a long time to figure out like what protein is the best. I've tried them all. In my opinion, the best protein to mix with your oats to the point where you only need to use water and not like milk is the Naked Harvest protein. I've also literally gone through all of the flavors. I've tried them all, tried to figure out which one is the best. And in my opinion, it is the Chox Whirl one. It's just like really strong. And it's like not too sweet. First, I pop on my strawberries. We go in with Yopro. And I pop like, I don't know how much Yopro, a lot until I'm like nearly covering probably like a third of the oats. Oh, I didn't fart, I swear. It was my foot. Okay. And then I get frozen blueberries and I cover the Yopro which this is the current thing. I think frozen blueberries just taste so much better than normal blueberries. They're also like a lot cheaper. So cover that on top. The second last bit is the peanut butter. Like, can't go wrong. So I pop like around a teaspoon of peanut butter just on the end. And this is the bit that I always save to last because it's like just the best. And then this honestly takes oats to the next level. I literally hate my oats unless I don't, unless I have these. They are cacao bikinis from the Whole Food store. The brand is like Loving Earth. And I like sprinkle them all over my peanut butter and my Yopo. And they're like, um, if you ever had like an acai bowl and they put that like chocolate muesli stuff on it, this is what it is. And you can get it from, um, I get mine from Helen's Whole Foods in Burley, but you can get them from like the source naked foods any like bulk food organic store so obviously not organic it's literally chocolate but i don't know why you buy it from there this is it we're finished and now i've got like five minutes to smash it before i have to leave for work but i'll show you on the other side of the camera what it looks like so i basically sit here this is like my favorite part of my morning other than my sunrise walk sit here i've got my flowers from the market sit and do my journaling um any laptop work i need to do i've only got 10 minutes though so i probably won't and i edit my sunrise photos from the walk eat my oats you know what i don't understand 
I get like so upset when I finish my oats, but like, who's stopping me from having them for lunch and dinner every day? Why do I have to have like savory for lunch and dinner? Why can't I have oats? Just a thought. I'm on some pants because I'm freezing. I'm gonna go over to Pack Fair because, um, first of all, I am so tired today. I've been like a bit sick the past few days and it's really catching up on me. So I'm going to char time because they actually sent me vouchers for their new um, like Red Bull um, mixed char time drinks. And I like, they sent it to me months ago, but I've never like gone to get it because I normally don't want char time in the morning and I definitely don't want to have Red Bull in the afternoons. So good timing that I'm really tired. Boyd's already at Pack Fair, so I'm gonna go meet him there and we're gonna go try the new bubble tea with Red Bull in it. So I will be back and I'll do a little taste test. Actually, I'm gonna bring the camera. Fuck it, it's coming to Pack Fair with me. Here we are. Boyd has got, what flavor have you got? Apple. And I got watermelon. Yeah. It's like Red Bull. Four out of ten. And this one, big two. I don't think I'm going to finish it. Completely ignore both of our reviews on our char time. I ordered watermelon, he ordered apple. I hate apple flavor things. The whole time I was drinking the apple one and he was drinking the watermelon and he's like, this is so gross. And then I looked at it and I was like, dude, I'm drinking apple. Like I had half of it. So now we really both really like our flavors of char time. So there you go. What do you rate your char time now that you've had your flavor of choice? Six out of 10. I'd say seven. Which is big considering I hate the taste of Red Bull. If anyone knows where I can buy pearls on their own, please let me know. Because this is the only reason why I get chai time. I love it. So yummy. So every day in between my brekkie and my lunch, I have my brunch. Bread. Avocado. I always mix um, lemon juice, salt, and avocado to make my avo smash. So good. Lunch, I mean, brunch is served. We've got our avo smash, our eggies, our tommy sauce, our bread. Um, some, normally, sometimes I have three slices of bread, sometimes I have two, but I'm not that hungry because I just had like 300 popping bills for a snack. Boyd has just left for work and he forgot about his char time, so I am going to have a second one. But I don't want the Red Bull or I will have a nervous breakdown because it's like 2 p.m. So I'm just going to tip it out and have the bowls. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, today is a rest day. I eat the same thing on my rest days as I do on my training days. Sometimes a little bit more on my training days, like if I feel like I need it. So at the moment, I am like freakishly obsessed with cantaloupe. Last week, I literally had four whole cantaloupe melons in a week. This is my second melon and it's Wednesday. And basically these containers are like half a melon and I eat one of them a day. So I eat half a melon every day. I just love it. So many people hate this fruit, but I think it's the best thing ever. But yeah, I snack on this all day. It's so refreshing. I love it. So yeah, I'm probably gonna eat this whole container now. Currently I've been like smashing the Daryl Lee chocolate, um, white chocolate and red licorice bullets. So I got these as a bit of like a healthier option. This was like $7 and it comes with like, only like 20 balls. And the, the chocolate is great, but the lolly is so chewy. It takes me like 20 minutes to like eat it. Like no wonder why they're better for you because you don't want to eat more than one. So I've been stacking on these as fast as I can, but it feels like it's going to rip my teeth out. So chewy, but I still will eat them. Back again. Okay, it's time for lunch. This week I have meal prepped a chicken cauliflower 
yellow curry and pretty much every Sunday I meal prep my lunches for the week because I don't really want to cook in the middle of the day especially if I'm on the go and I always cook like a stir fry or a curry so I can like get heaps of veggies in and then I always have like a meat normally it's chicken or beef and then I always have like rice or noodles so I've got everything in there and pretty much like I always meal prep something that I've like had before so because obviously like I'm gonna be eating it for the next five days so I want to like it but I took a bit of a risk on Sunday and I made this curry that I've never had and it sucks and I'm stuck with it for the whole week because I hate wasting food and there's no way I'm throwing it out because I spent so much on produce this weekend at the markets so yeah we've got this curry it's chicken cauliflower yellow curry it's got like curry paste and coconut milk and stuff like that in it and there's like heaps of rice at the bottom. I posted when I meal prepped this on my Instagram and like before I tried it and so many people responded asking for the recipe. So if you're one of those people, I am not giving you the recipe because it's not good and you don't want to make it. So every day I have my curry or my stir fry for lunch and then I have a kombucha. So I'm actually on a bit of a Coke No Sugar diet at the moment. So I'm not letting myself have it, only on special occasions and weekends. So now I drink kombucha and it actually tastes way better in my opinion and it's better for you because coconut sugar hurts my tummy so bad now. Like I've, I've overdone it to the point where I'm probably like allergic. So I knew I'd forget to film something. On my walk, I took a Dr. Hydrate. This is what I have like every morning as well on my sunrise walks. And it is this. It's like electrolytes, vitamins, minerals and it's so yummy. The best flavor is watermelon and then grape and then I don't really like the pineapple one, but yeah. Dinner is served. <laughs> Pan fried veggies, zucchini, broccolini, capsicum. Then we've got homemade chips, um, garlic salmon, roast pumpkin, and cherry tomatoes. And then I drizzle all the garlic butter oil all over the veggies. And yeah, it's so good. I've had this like every night for like eight weeks. So good. Oh! oh no! I was about to say, make sure it was on. That's a one point, and I was like, shit, I'm happy. So, boy, in bed a bit sick. Having his chalky ice cream. Now I've got my new favourite dessert. It's chocolate and ice cream with frozen mango and then I dump a whole tub of jelly on top and then I mix it together I mix it with the chocolate and ice cream it's a chocolate raspberry concoction chocolate Chocolate ice cream and raspberry jelly. Oh. <coughs> well, anyways, thanks for watching. That's what I eat in a day. Say bye to your fans. Bye. 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 <laughs>